Let's talk about the hottest hair color trend of the year. If you're new to my channel and if you're not, welcome back. I'm Mike. I'm who? I'm a hairdresser, a L'Oreal color specialist, a makeup fan and a skincare lover. In today's film, we are going to be discussing the hottest hair color trend of the year and I'm going to be showing you how to create this amazing look. So if you want to find out more about this trend and how to create it, then you better keep on watching. What is the story everyone? In today's film we are talking about the hottest hair color trend of 2021 and this hair color trend is smoky hair color. So smoky hair color was inspired by makeup so it was really inspired by your smoky eye and to honor this look and explain it better I did do a lovely smoky eye on my eyes. Smoky hair trend is a trend by L'Oreal professional and also we got some new shades of colors to create this smoky look so we're going to try it out on the channel today. But what is smoky hair trend and where's the inspiration coming from? Well, the whole inspiration came from makeup and a smoky eye. So it's all about layering and blending three different shades together to create that smoky eye effect. Now, I did do a smoky eye on myself today just to explain this a lot better. So if you look at my eye, right? So we're going to translate this onto hair. So if you look at my eye, right? When it comes to smoky eye, you have a deeper color on your lid. You blend it out with a transition shade in your crease that's slightly lighter and eventually you blend it out with a lighter shade in your outer corner to create that seamless blend of darker into lighter. And what we're going to do today is we're actually going to recreate my eye look with similar shades. I'm going to literally take inspiration from my eyelid onto a hair mannequin. Right you guys, so I did do a tuition head with Smoky Hair Trend prior to filming this film. So you guys, let me present you my first look for Smoky Hair. Right, so as you can see, this was my first creation of Smoky Hair and like that I used three different shades of color to create this look. So first of all, we can see that the root is a lot deeper and it is blending into lighter color, finally going into a lot lighter color and this stuff is hot this trend is everything i mean the tonality of those three different shades is everything so guys what do you think about this look i think this is absolutely stunning i love the idea of the tonality and three different smoky like colors coming through the hair i think it's really hot it's really cool and it's really really on trend and i think it's something everyone should look into right so what are we gonna do now i'm gonna take another mannequin head and i'm gonna present you with the technique of smoky hair trend and how to apply it how to do it what shades we're gonna use and i'm gonna literally recreate my eyeshadow look and translate it into hair so no pressure right you guys let's get right into it right we are here with my beautiful model that is vanessa so everyone say hi to vanessa and smoky hair trend can be applied to any hair type whether you're blonde or a brunette and as you've seen this was my blonde version of smoky hair trend and we're gonna do smoke hair on a nice brunette let's assess the model and see what can be done on her hair as we can see there's a lot of warmth going through her hair we have beautiful lovely hair and there is some previous lightness on it so we really want to smoke it out now there is a nice bright piece through the front so i'm going to use that as my focal point and i'm going to keep that quite bright and i'm not going to smoke it out as much but I'm really gonna create depth and smokiness through here. So what is my plan for this model? We're gonna apply three different shades onto her hair to create that beautiful smoky eye effect on the hair and the inspiration is my eye. Now, when I'm looking at it and my placement, now can we see natural shadows and lightness going through the hair? So we can see that there is a natural shadow kind of coming around here. So my eyelid shade is gonna come to about here then from about here to here, when we have slight bit of lightness and more light coming through, we're gonna put my transition shade and then on the very ends, we're gonna put my blending out shade. What shades am I gonna use for this look? As a crease color, I'm gonna use 518 in Cool Cover from Majorelle. And Cool Cover is really gonna give you that 
neutralized opaque result that you want from smoky hair. When it comes to my transition shade, I'm gonna use 782, which is a brand new shade in Cool Cover. And on the ends, which is also a brand new shade, we're gonna use a 9A2. And we want to create that smoky eye on the hair. So let's get smoking. Right, I know you can't really see me, but it's not about me today. So we're gonna start by applying my crease shade, as I call it, but a root shade really for my smoky hair trend. And what I'm gonna do about the front pieces is, I'm not gonna drag it out as much. So I know we said that we're gonna apply the first shade till about here and then blend it all out. When it comes to the front piece, I want to keep it slightly bit lighter. So I'm really just gonna smidge that through. So let's start by applying my root shade. So I'm going in with my 518 in Cool Cover and I'm actually leaving out the front piece as it is for now. And we're gonna get to that at the end. And so we need to make sure that we're gonna drag it out a tiny bit more because we want to really blend that all out. So think of it as doing your eyeshadow. You nearly want that extra bit so you can blend the two colors together to create seamless effect. When I'm applying the root color, I'm nearly taking the comb and my fingers and I'm nearly dragging it slightly down just to create that seamless blend. So when I'm gonna apply color here, once I'm finished with my application, I'm gonna lift that section up and I'm literally just gonna blend that shade down. And if I need more color, I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit more and just making sure that I'm creating that seamless blend. As promised, we're at the front. So as you can see, I done my roots everywhere and it's giving me that nice kind of depth coming through here. So it is, think of it this way, think of this as your crease color on your eye. But obviously we want to keep that as nearly like the inner corner of your eye and keeping that spotlight shine effect through it. So I'm literally just gonna paint the dark color, which is 518 till about here. And then I'm gonna start blending it out because I still want that to be as my focal point in the hair color and keep that slightly bit light. So you can really adapt this technique on what the client or what you want done with your hair. We're gonna start our blending technique out and I'm gonna take about inch thick sections starting from the bottom. And I'm literally just gonna comb my crease shade. And now I'm gonna apply 728 in Majorelle Cool Cover as my transition shade. And I'm gonna go with the shade from about here to about here. And I'm just gonna apply a generous amount of that shade. Once that shade is applied, I'm gonna go in with my blending out shade, which is 982 in Cool Cover, and I'm gonna apply that onto the ends. Now you guys, when it comes to blending them two shades together, I wouldn't really worry about keeping your gloves clean. Why, think of it this way, if you're doing an eyeshadow, sometimes you take a dirty, well not dirty, a used, blending brush and you blend all the shades together to create a better seamless result. So think of this as your eye. We have our three shades and we blend in and out with one blending brush, which are your fingers. And I'm gonna lay that flat and I'm gonna follow this. So one more section. And like that, we're gonna comb that down. I'm gonna slightly drag that down. Then I'm gonna apply my transition shade onto the mid band. And at the very end, I'm gonna apply my blending out shade. And now with the use of my fingers, or a blending brush you could call it, I'm literally just gonna skim all that through together and let that sit. Once I finish the whole lot, we're gonna to come to the front, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna approach my focal point. Right, so we came to the front, the rest is done. As you can see, we're getting that nice soft blend through here. So what I'm gonna do here, we can see that we have about an inch of that 518 
And what I'm gonna do till about here, so when I'm putting it down, I want that other color just to sit at the bottom of her nose. So till about here, we're gonna apply our 782 in cool cover. And I'm actually gonna be a lot more careful with applying this and a lot more gentle. And once I have that color applied, I'm literally just gonna start blending it up and down. So I'm literally just doing this movement with my two fingers. I'm just gonna skim that down here. And then onto our ends, I'm gonna apply a generous amount of 982. And I think it's gonna give me that cookies and cream result if you ask me. And then just blend that up. So we're blending everything up and then slightly down. Right you guys, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let that to develop and I'm gonna style it off camera and you guys, we're gonna come back and we're gonna see the final result of my smoky hair trend look. Right you guys, so what do you think about my smoky hair on the brunette head? As you can see, we have that lovely deep root going into slightly lighter shade, fading even into lighter blended out shade. Now, did I pass the test? Do you think I recreated my smoky eye on the hair? I definitely think I got it right on the ends. You can get that color here and on my crease. So I definitely think it's a hit. As you can see, you can create this beautiful smoky effect on a brunette or a blonde. And I feel like there's a lot of women around me today. But I mean, when it comes to this one, we still have that lovely deep root fading into lighter and lighter shade. And when it comes to this one, this one just looks really, really expensive. And even if we look at the back, like it's just absolutely glorious. We have that lovely deep root fading into that lighter shade and into the ends. I think that middle shade is probably my favorite one. That 7A2 in cool cover is stunning and then we have those gorgeous light ends. Right you guys, please let me know in the comment description down below if it's something you'd like in your hair or what did you think of this tutorial like film because it's my first time actually showing my coloring skill on YouTube. Anyways guys, thank you for watching today's film. I hope you found this film rather interesting, helpful and useful. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also check out my other social media. And of course, you guys, please, please, please take care. Bye.